Hey, my name is Gaia Athena and today I'm bringing a book review of Night of the Living Dead by AJ Kopperman. This is book one in the Haunted Guest House mystery series. And this first book is about Alison and she and her nine-year-old daughter move into this old house that you can see here on the cover hopefully. And their intention is to transform this like really old house that needs repairs into a guest house. But then Alison finds out that there's two ghosts in the house. Namely one of them is uh, the person who used to own this house and the other one is a private detective that she hired. Let's see it here on the back. And the ghost wants Alison to find out who murdered them because the official cause of death was suicide but the two ghosts insist that they were murdered. So this is a mystery novel with a paranormal twist. So if you don't like mystery novels with some paranormal elements then this won't be the book for you. I have read five other books by A.J. Kopperman, uh, namely the first five books in the Asperger's Mystery series. Uh, if you've been on my channel for a while you may have seen reviews of those books. My friend Sarah and I decided we would read like his earlier series, or at least this book was written a while ago. He, I think he's still maybe writing this series, but it says the book was published in 2010. And I like this book a lot. I uh, wasn't sure at first if I would like it as much as the Spurious Mystery books because I really like those but that has uh, an autistic protagonist and this doesn't so I wasn't sure if I was gonna like really like it but I did really like it. Not Maybe not quite as much as the best books in the Spurious Mystery series but it's definitely a very good mystery and I thought the paranormal element kind of gave a, a sort of different twist on it that I don't normally see in books. At least I personally haven't read a whole lot of mystery books with paranormal twists. I'm more, I know that there are more of them out there. I believe I might even own a couple. But yeah, I quite like this book. It did take me a while to read it because I have had some other things going on in my life. But more on that at a later time. I also kind of wanted to savor the book and not finish it too quickly. But it does read relatively quickly. The chapters are pretty short, which I appreciated. I feel like short chapters give you more of a sense of progression. It's actually been a while since I filmed a video because it took me a while to read this book. And like I said, I've been busy and so I haven't been making any videos for a little while. Which you haven't noticed because I had uh, quite a few videos filmed like a while ago that I'm still putting up. But anyway, about the book. I liked it a lot. You gradually find out more about the mystery and I wasn't sure um, who did it. I didn't guess it to be honest. Which is good. Um, I'm not particularly good at guessing who's done it to be honest. There were couple of plot twists in here that really surprised me and this book is published by Berkeley. I don't know if you can see that. But... Yeah it's my intention to keep this review or at least you know my this video and my thoughts on the book relatively short. I haven't really felt like making videos either anyway. Yeah I found it an enjoyable read and I thought it might, might take me a while to warm up to the characters because I like the characters in the other series he wrote so much. But actually I like these characters a lot as well. I also like the ghosts. Their characters were pretty interesting. I like that Melissa, who is the nine-year-old daughter of Alison, I like that Melissa played a bit of a role in the book as well. Like I was not sure if we'd see much of her, um, but we, we do and that's nice. The book is written in first person past tense. And yeah, I like this one a lot. And I think my friend Sarah and I will be reading the other books in this series. So we'll be reading book two a while from now. So yeah, I like this book a lot. I am filming in my parents' living room at the moment because there is roadworks by our street construction. And so 
it is a bit noisy from time to time. This morning it was particularly noisy and they started quite early. So I thought the conservatory is not the best place to film because that tends to be a more noisy place. You can hear the, the noise more easily there. So it's a bit quieter in this living room. So that's why. But then it might be nice for you to see the living room as well. It is a little bit dark in here maybe. Um, so I hope you can see this. Thank you very much for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one. Bye!